Now let's talk about uh, the most interesting area that is AC generator, dynamo and its single phase. So what is AC generator? So it's nothing but uh, your mechanical energy is converted to electrical energy. The generator was originally designed by the great scientist Yugoslav and Nikola Tesla. So it is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction according to which an EMF is induced in the coil when it is rotated in a uniform magnetic field. You are able to see it here. So if you talk about the essential parts of an AC generator, the armature is the rectangular coil you can see it here. Rectangular coil consisting of a large number of loops of turns of insulated copper wire wounded over a laminated soft iron core or ring. The soft iron core not only increases the magnetic flux but also serves as a support for the coil. Next we are going to talk about the field magnets. These are the field magnets. This one north pole and this one is south pole. You are able to see I am trying to show the armature which I discussed before. The necessary magnetic field is produced by the permanent magnets in the case of low power dynamos. For in case of high power dynamos, a field is provided by electromagnet. The armature rotates between the magnetic poles such that the axis of rotation is perpendicular to the magnetic field. The next one we are talking about the slip rings. You are able to see this. This is your slip rings. The ends of the armature coil is connected to two hollow metallic rings that's R1 and R2 that's referred to as slip rings. These rings are fixed to a shaft to which the armature is fixed. If you talk about the brushes, you got your brushes here. So B1, this is the brush, the yellow color one, and you got your brushes here. Or two metallic flexible plates are cob of carbon brushes. They provide contact with the slip rings by keeping themselves are pressed against the rings. They are used to pass on the current from the armature to the external power line through the slip rings. Now let's talk about the working principle of an AC generator. Whenever there is a change in the orientation of the coil, the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes. It produces an induced EMF in the coil, thus the principle worked in AC generator. So the direction of the current, uh, induced current is given by the Flemens Leighton rule. You are able to see once the coil is moved, automatically there is a flux creator. Suppose considering an armature with the A, B, C, D which is initially in the vertical position, it is rotated in the anticlockwise direction, the side A, B of the coil moves downwards and the slide D, C it moves upwards. Then according to the Fleming's right hand rule, the current induced in the arm A, B flows from B to A. Over here from CD it flows from D to C. Thus the current flows from D to C, B and A. This is how the current flows in the coil. So in the external circuit, the current flows from B1 to B2. On further rotation, the arm AB of the coil moves upwards and the DC moves downwards. Now the current of the flow coil flows along A, A, B, C and D.
In the external circuit, the current flows from B2 to B1. As the rotation of the coil continues, the induced current in the external circuit keeps changing its direction. For every half of a rotation of the coil, hence the induced current is alternating in nature. So you'll be getting an alternative current. So this is your alternative current creator. You'll be having a positive and also a negative. As the armature completes V rotation in one second, alternative current of frequency V cycles per second is produced. And the induced EMF is given by E is equal to E naught into sin omega t. So this is a peak of value of EMF E naught equal to N B A omega. So where N is the number of turns and A is the area enclosed and B is the magnetic field and omega is the angular velocity of the coil.